What's up guys, Deadpool15 here and today I am going to bring you my Wigan V Forest review. We have just drawn nil nil at the DW Stadium. Which, to be fair, I would have taken a point at the start anyway. But I would have preferred all three points. But, but guys, they was excellent. Some really good performances out there today. Danny Fox had a good game for a change. Mustafa Cario did. And plus, so did Ben Brereton, which was, his game was decent. But Wigan tried to throw a lot at us. With Will Greg coming off the bench. Omar Bogle didn't do too much. Either though Forrest tried to sign him in January. But instead we got Zach Clough and Ross McCormack. So guys. We really looked a threat. Especially when Jamie Ward came on to... Came on... To replace Zach Clough. And then that's when the sparks happened. And that's when we looked lively. Plus. Ariel in the last kick of the game. Missed. An, an absolute. He went through everybody. It was one on one with the keeper. And it went across the face of goal. Did his shot. So anyway guys. We should have really won this game because we dominated Wigan in the second half. We absolutely punished them. They caused us a few problems and we caused them a hell of a lot of problems. Because they did not because they did not did not look threatening one bit in the second half. They didn't, they didn't look loud whatsoever. That's when we dominated the, the entire second half. Plus in the first half, we, we came, came into the game as it went on. And we should have had a penalty guys. Because, because Ben was up there on his own. And then, and then came Zooming down was Jake Buxton and I took him down and it looked and it looked like a penalty but the ref did it, did not give it. That's what I am going with from what I heard from Colin Frey. So guys, we really should have won this game because we looked Looked a threat, we looked lively, and we looked powerful. But I doubt we can win our game on next Saturday at home to Brighton and our Bellevue. Now that will be a test. Because, because if they beat Reading tonight, they will go top of the league. Thanks to Newcastle drawing 2-2 at home to... Uh, it's to say today. But if they would have dropped points, Brighton fans would have been happy. But I can see us probably losing against Brighton. Anyway, I'll talk about that in my Forest v Brighton preview in my next video. So, guys, let me just tell you that we we came alive. When Jerry Ward came on the pitch. But after that, it was just all us. No, 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 we're going to just all us. But other way, Jake Buxton should have been sent off because he, he tugged, he tugged Brit Sambalanga all over the place and he should have been sent off. Because he made a massive error today. 
Now guys, we really looked the best team out there today. If I had to pick one, it'd be Forest. Because we looked like we did when you won the uh, European Cup. We looked a threat. And that's what and that is what us for us fans want. We want our team to look a threat. Now guys, we have been on three bad results. But we need to put them behind us now. But offer our home form will hot for whole brown. Plus we have only had the one defeat under Gary under as well and Jack Lester so far. And that came against Alaska which was sh F a Wednesday. Well I lost two one if you if you remember. Anyway guys, just to inform you we have to play in which I F them off sometime because I'm getting sick of Jordan of Jordan Smith in goal because I think Eftemov has been at the club a lot longer than Smith has. Plus, I would love to see Edza have a chance because I've been waiting for this guy ever since he signed his first professional contract with Forrest to, to come in the first team and show us what he can bring but I've not seen him since so guys I'm just going to touch on one more thing and I'll end this video here now the thing that I want to touch on was our away form has been absolutely terrible this season but it is another but the other thing is it's another clean sheet. I think that's our fifth one of, of the season. Now guys, we really have to not get relegated because I think they are 11 more games to play. So hopefully at the end of the season we will stay in the uh, guys. So anyway, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll link down below if you uh, would like to see me to the amount of these videos. And most of all, peace!